gentlemen welcome again to channel 48 on this very rainy Monday morning it's raining outside and weather is a little bit cold and wet but I'm here with a very special tablet and I think that this tablet deserves um, the label to be one of the best tablets created ever because this tablet that you see here in my hands ladies and gentlemen this thing was created in 2010 so it's 10 years old it is a very nice screen and this tablet is very special because it can run Windows, it can run Android, I managed to install Mac operating system, Hackintosh operating system onto this tablet, I have a video in my list, just find it, created it very long time ago and uh, I think yeah the YouTube algorithm is not even you know showing that video anymore so you will really have to go dig into my video list to find that video but I have a video where I show how to install uh, I think it was snow snow leopard onto this tablet and it would actually work um, it was the first tablet that I would show GNU onto uh, Linux Mint at that time they were the first one to to get it right with the touch screen because Ubuntu at that time yeah the touch screen was failing it was not working and with mint it all worked beautifully so I have this collector's item for eight years now bought it in somewhere 2012 and then I as well created my first videos about this tablet so in fact this tablet um, it got a whole lot of views here on YouTube this thing is a is it's a movie star this tablet so you might wonder what kind of tablet this is well it's the VPAD 10 the Fusonic VPAD 10 and it was delivered with Windows and with Android this thing would have Windows 7 onto it installed home premium I think it was there's even a license here you see that and uh, it would as well come with Android 1.6 at that time, when the tablet came out, many critics were always, you know, kind of complaining on the tablet, not getting any upgrades. Because, in fact, Fusonic created a x86 version for this device. Then I found out, thanks to, you know, testing, that, in fact, all the versions there at, 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 Android x86 from CW Huang would work fine on this tablet so I will show this 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 tablet time and time every time again with another build of Android updated build of Android and uh, yeah I would even install Windows 10 to it it was amazing so this tablet today in 2020 it's celebrating its 10th birthday and no cakes or whatsoever we're gonna bless this device and as well um, I created I created a new distro I did it in a live show the other day I was a bit uh, late uh, home and I was like I still want to build a distro I didn't want to build it alone so I came live and we then created a nice little distro uh, that is based on or that is in fact Ubuntu but then modified by me uh, to look like the future uh, well the next Windows 10 operating system it's a concept I created the concept uh, under GNU 
so that's why as well I'm wearing my beautiful windows t-shirt so today I'm as well gonna present to you ladies and gentlemen the first Windows 10x GNU droid uh, 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 system operating system that you can install on your 64-bit laptops and tablets okay there we are it's 1515 and uh, I'm gonna take a look at the distro if it's done yes it's done there we are with the tablet I'm in the screen and I just checked my USB sticks here I have uh, a USB stick with the files that we can install okay and in fact I'm creating an updated version and the updated version you can see here I'm creating the distro at this moment and in fact I, I want the updated version uh, on this tablet because uh, this version is made tablet friendly so I'm gonna wait for this to finish okay but uh, in the meanwhile I'm gonna show you how it works so things that you will need are a USB hub okay this thing comes with two USB ports so I could connect the hub with the keyboard to the tablet and the bootable USB I connected from here you see that so I even have uh, two more ports that I could use for instance uh, to connect the mouse okay because you might need a mouse but in fact we also have touch screen so let me show you how, how that works okay so I'm gonna boot one of my own distros and by hitting F11 on the keyboard it will choose the USB stick to boot from you see that JD Firefly I zoomed in a bit and then we're just gonna boot and then we hit enter and this is the WinGNU Droid X system that I made special for this device and it's a concept in fact a Windows 10x concept that has Android built in you know and the goodies that you will normally not find in uh, yeah in Windows this is the boot boot screen you see that lovely eh? by inspiration of what I saw in the news when they were talking about it I was like hey nice let's let's make it let's build it and uh, yeah it's booting now on the tablet just the way we saw it in the news only yeah we won't have no uh we will have no two screens of course this is a normal tablet and the very best ever created i think well maybe not because i have more old tablets even older than this one that can as well do this what i'm showing right now even in 2020 so that is very very amazing you see that boom hey what is that hello putting in the password uh in the other well up here we can as well uh, keyboard English somewhere here we should be able to to get a screen reader on screen keyboard you see that this one will be turned on in the updated version it's it's a little bit hard yeah okay it's selected there you go you see that so now we have a keyboard okay it's still a little bit experimental all right but at least the touch works and we can log in and if yours is still running windows windows 7 and still has the old android then in fact what you should do is uh, go into gparted and just delete all the partitions that you see including the restore partition you will lose the windows license and all these things but those are already obsolete 
anyhow so yeah no need keeping them it's better to update the system with the operating system that will you know uh, be updated on regular base and that is safe to use has the latest browser built in these are the important things that you must have in an operating system okay so you can at least have a safe experience on the internet and it's booting this is by the way an updated version of GNU that I never ever installed on this system yet it's 1910 64 bit and there it is ladies and gentlemen it just uh, locked in there it is and uh, as you can see there are even some windows applications installed waiting for the mouse to come in and there it is uh, yeah you will have to scroll like this I think you cannot scroll like this okay so uh, finding an app is just a matter of uh, but I don't want to be in this desktop effect let me see if this is a little bit working it's a little bit slow okay but you must have patience after it's installed it's gonna be way faster uh, let me see is the Wi-Fi found yes Wi-Fi is found that is amazing sound is found even though the speakers of this thing never played from day one that I got it uh, the output does work and Bluetooth should as well work. Not really using sound on this thing, but this would be a nice TV player, for instance, you know. So you can connect some uh, jack with a speaker connected to it and then it plays. But uh, I think the internal speakers are broken. I'm not even sure. And this thing is too old to worry about that. Um, so I wanted to log off. What did I do? Turn off. log out no I want to cancel I would love to log out how to do that log out yes you see the touch is getting better it, it needs to yeah this is all running from USB stick and it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit heavy for the system and now I'm going to show you the official desktop effect. The one that should boot up whenever you install the system. It's going to come with that desktop and not with this one that you just saw. This is an extra desktop that you have uh, in your system. So up here we first going to select the Butchie desktop. Okay. And password for your distro will be... Channel 48... We're doing this fully now on the device as you can see and now it's gonna load the budgie desktop and that is in fact the concept desktop well in fact both are concept desktops that you could implement in into real windows if microsoft ever feels to you know to do a thing like that there you go lovely 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 it's gonna load some more applications and there you go oh no that was in the second in the second build you as well gonna have explorer here and some 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 standard applications so the start menu is just here it's loading still it's a little bit slow but here you can see that uh, yeah the updated version will look even better. This was the V1. This was, in fact, my build, uh, my test build, the one that we uh, created in the live show. And as you can see, it uh, it runs beautiful on uh, yeah on the Viewpad 7 from 10 years ago. It's yeah a little bit uh, older tablet, but as you can see, it can still uh, yeah it can still handle the job. 
maybe the experience is not that fantastic whenever you're gonna run it live from a USB stick, you know? But as you can see, it looks amazing and really beautiful. So um, yeah, it takes a little to load the screens. It must all read it from off USB. This is happening from USB 2. So that is not the, the very fastest thing in the world. This was 10 years ago created. But I'm telling you, whenever we're gonna install this, uh, at least the distro that I'm now creating, the updated, um, then you're gonna find out that it will be yeah, running just fine. And then uh, without even having to install Android 9 to the system, after we install that distro, yeah, Android 9 will automatically be installed as second uh, as dual boot uh, in, in, in the system. Okay, thanks to KMO and Alien. Uh, Alien users will get a dual boot uh, in the system. Uh, and KMU users, users with virtualization enabled and, and available um, yeah, in, in their device. These guys can run the Android in the GNU desktop. So yeah, you will have an even greater experience. In fact, you, you're dealing with the operating system that you don't see uh, every day. Okay, it, it is, even though I'm not uh, yeah, a software developer, an OS developer, I think um, with the tools that we have these days, you don't have to be one. Uh, you can, you know, still bring your ideas uh, to uh, to the users in a working, you know, with a working real operating system. In this case, this is all happening thanks to Ubuntu. Uh, this was built from the mini CD from Ubuntu, minimalistic, Bucci desktop. You know, modified by me, firewall is set to on, privacy related things are, you know, fixed. So, in fact, this is a system that is not, yeah, is giving you the freedom to use an operating system on the internet without, you know, uh, leaving so much uh, traces and, you know, things behind that can, yeah, ag again be used against you to say this way by following you around and cookies and, and all that crap that is happening on the internet. You know, we try to avoid that as much as possible. We have great uh, browsers that will as well help that uh, prevent that from happening. You know, these uh, guys there at uh, Mozilla, they are doing their best to do all sorts of uh, yeah stuff to protect their users. So yeah, this is uh, in fact, yeah, the V1. Um, I'm gonna just check with my other computer to see if we can start the official installation of Windows 10X GNU Droid uh, system powered by Ubuntu, Mama Ubuntu. And uh, yeah, then we're gonna see what it's gonna be uh, and how it's gonna run on this beautiful tablet. Okay, so um, yeah, you saw the tablet, you saw the possibilities, and if you're still interested after these 22 minutes to see the installation, make sure to tune in to part two of this video, because in that video, we're gonna go ahead and install it and uh, see if it's any good uh, in 2020, this 10-year-old Fusionic Viewpad 10. See you in that video.